And finally here at 6 tonight, these days lots of folks trying to save a penny or two. In this week's Power to Save, Newswatch 16's Kelly McCool visits a store to get some tips on how we can save energy at home. Take a look at this machine. It's a biodiesel fuel converter from Brinkman's Alternative Energy Store in Hamlin. Environmentalist and certified eco broker Lisa Alexander explains it changes cooking oil to biodiesel fuel at only 75 to 90 cents a gallon. This might not necessarily work for the average homeowner, but it would be a great community project. This is a passive solar heater. This will heat a room, maybe two rooms, and it's only going to work when the sun is shining, and it's going to blow hot air into your room. But they're kind of pricey, so you have to try to figure out how long you're going to be in that home, and are you going to make back that money? Sometimes the small things can amount to big savings. One of the things you can do is, is just, you know, put in a shower saver, um, head on your shower, so that'll reduce your water, and it won't really Cheap compromise the pressure. Just consume yeah. less, so use less water, turn it on and off when you're not using it. Planet Green claims if you inflate this and put it in your toilet tank, you can save up to 7,000 gallons of water each year, and these LEDs save electricity. An even better choice than the compact fluorescents are the LEDs. They're more expensive, but they last 40 times longer. With winter creeping around the corner, she says these corn pellet stoves are yet another way to save. For more information, go to WNEP.com and click on Power to Save.